Hey there! What is up, everybody? I'm doing a movie review for you today, and the movie I am going to review is Friday the 13th Part 2. <laughs> now, this is one of my favourites of the series. In the original series, I might even say that this is, that this is my favourite. I just have a soft, a soft spot for it. I still love Friday the 13th Part 4 and, and some other movies in the franchise, but I've just got a soft spot for this one. Yeah, it was released in 1981, April the 30th, 1981. The director is Steve Miner. He also did some more of the final, of the Friday the 13th movies. <laughs> got 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb. I gave it a 10 out of 10. 34% on Rotten Tomatoes, that's not fair. 26% on Metacritic. It's not fair how this movie gets rated so low. <laughs> now, I'm just going to give you some information about the movie. The budget and whatever. Just give me a second, folks. Shouldn't be too long. The budget was about $1.25 million, made about $21.7 million box office, so that's pretty good, it definitely did not bomb, and the movie has gotten, gotten nine sequels, and some of them are good and some of them are bad. And the plot of the movie is Miss Voorhees gets killed in, in, at the end of the first one, so the survivor Alice Hardy, who is played by Alice Hardy, who is played by Adrian King, she gets killed killed off in the beginning of the movie. So the plot is that these teenagers go camping near Crystal Lake, Camp Crystal Lake, and it takes place five years after the original, even though it came out a year after the original, but it takes place five years after the original. Now, it also stars Amy Steele as Ginny. Bet Betsy Palmer comes back as Pamela Voorhees in the archive footage. You know. It also stars John Fury as Paul Holt. And these actors and actresses gave a good performance. There's a bit of mystery in the movie too. Like what happened at the end. Was the end a dream sequence or did it happen or was it a dream sequence? How was how was Terry killed Terry killed in the movie? And did Jason really drown or did he survive or you know? So it's got a bit of mystery to it. It also stars Kirsten Baker as Terry, Stuart Charno as Ted, Warrington Gilletti as Jason, Walt Gordy as Crazy Ralph. R Crazy Ralph he comes back from the first movie only to be killed off. By Jason with barbed wire wrapped around his neck. Marta Coba as Sandra. Tom McBride as Mark. Bill Randolph as Jeff. Lauren Marie Taylor as Vicky. Russell Todd as Scott. And that's about it. Now, the, now my, the, there's about, about nine deaths in the movie. Even though one of them was off screen. So... My favourite kill would have to be the guy in the wheelchair. He gets a machete to the face. Poor bugger. And may he rest in peace because he died in real life. He died quite a few years ago. What's my opinion on the ending? Was it a dream sequence? Did Paul die? What happened to Paul? What happened to Paul Holt? Did he die or did he run away or what? My personal opinion is, I think he got killed off by Jason. That's my opinion. I think he might have gotten killed off by Jason off screen. But I still think that the end, end scene might have been a dream sequence. Or a hallucination. A dream sequence, I think. I think the bag over Jason's head made him look creepy. I thought J Jason in this movie was creepy and intimidating and the death scenes were pretty good even though there wasn't much blood. 
there wasn't much blood in the movie, but that didn't really bother me. I still think the kills were really top-notch. I just love this movie. I do. It's one of my favourite horror movies, one of my favourite slasher movies, one of my favourite horror sequels, and you know, you name it. Any air guys, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, as I said, Jason is intimidating in the movie, especially when you see him with over his head. And yeah, that's all I've got to say, folks. I'll see you all later.